Hi, this is Kendra over at Pencil and Pigment. And today I am working on a different illustration. So for August, there's a ton of drawing challenges and I'm sort of just dipping, cross dipping my toes in a bunch of them all at once. Once So dogist is a dog a day, smogist is a dragon a day, animalist is an animal a day, and I've covered all those bases, but this one illustration, and I am doing our dog, who I adore more than everything. So we have, and I thought I would just do a fun, cute little story time about our dog. We have a Connie Corso, it's Italian. Um, I have heard some people correct me and call it a cane Corso, but Cane is Italian four dog, and then Corso is sort of, um, it's a Latin, based word which means guardian. So these are 100% guard dogs. Um, she is a mix. She is not full Italian Mastiff. She is actually, her papa was a German Shepherd and she was one of seven females that were dropped off at our shelter that specializes in small dog adoptions. Um, she is not a small dog. <laughs> she is a Mastiff and she is massive. Um, we knew we wanted a larger dog because our kids did not understand the etiquette with large dogs and one of them was just plain scared of large dogs and we thought the best way to mitigate that and educate that was to bring one into our house. Um, so that's not for everyone. I don't, unless you have the time and the money and the energy to dedicate to something like this. Um, I would hold off. I'll link. There's a couple YouTubers and stuff that have Connie Corsos that are really good with explaining the breed and what they're all about and owning them and stuff. And I definitely recommend doing research and hanging out with one and knowing. So we live in a very dog friendly area and we have off leash beaches and parks and People love their dogs. This is just a huge, massive dog area. And so we can take her with us almost everywhere. And we do, we walk her twice a day, an hour in the morning, an hour at night, because she is two years old and she has a an abundance of energy and we don't want her to get in trouble. She has been in tons of classes. Uh, Pre-COVID, we did all the puppy training um, to have our kids be a part of that as well. Everybody has to be a part in training when you get a dog. Um, I don't want this to be a dog lecture, but that is very important. Um, we have, <laughs> we have the best one. She is very, very sensitive and she's very, very submissive. So we have to be super, super, super careful when we take her to the dog park. And I don't even like doing that. She gets overwhelmed and she's not a fan of being humped by other dogs. They do not have consent. Um, so we tend to do one dog at a time for socialization, but she's so good with every dog and she's really, really good with cats and birds and children. Um, babies kind of, she doesn't understand why they're always crying. So we're still training and she is getting much, much better with skateboards. So all our kids are having their best Tony Hawk lives, trying to help her with the skateboard thing. And we've already worked on the walking at night. She used to be terrified and which the irony is she is the scariest looking thing coming out of the dark. Um, oh my gosh, I love her so much. But so our cats are, they're nine pounds. They're tiny. They barely like us. Um, which nine pounds is like four, what, four kilograms? I'm trying to help out my metric, my metric life people. Um, and one just runs from her. One will have nothing to do with her and it hurts her feelings and she gets super sad every time. But like, it is just the saddest thing in the world. And the other one backs her into a corner, growling and hissing at her. So <laughs> this is the bulk of her daily experience with cats. Um, Pre-COVID, lots of our hardware stores have cats. Again, we live in a very like animal positive location. Um, 
We would take her to Michael's, the craft store. The manager just cannot get enough of her and is always like, bring her back. I love her so much. Like he comes out of his office so he can pet her and pull her ears and just, you know, get his pet therapy. She's real good for that. She loves people. Um, and our local kid um, toy store has, also has cats and they don't care. So, but this is about our neighbor's cat. So our neighbor, that's a relative term. Everybody in this area is our neighbor. We love you all so much. Um, has a cat named Pepper. Pretty sure his first name is Sergeant. And I love him. And he lives with Huskies, this cat. Oh, my cat's trying to get out. Um, and so this cat doesn't care about sunflower. And like I said, she's she's mastiff. She's massive. She's she's a big beast. And she's not used to a cat not caring that she's there cuz our cats have all the things to say about it. Um and this cat, this cat starts rolling and it'll rub itself on her legs and she gets so excited. They're trying to open all the doors and escape. They're not here for my story hour. They should be. Anyway, this cat rubs on her and Sublar gets so excited. She starts like humping the air in the middle of the street. Oh God, I can't. Every time they, they go through this routine together now and they rub up on each other and they get so excited. And yeah, I'm giving her wings because nothing would be more majestic than a dragon, Connie Corso. Taken off, flying. Oh my God, wouldn't that be amazing? It'd just be fantastic. I just can't stop laughing about it. She like gets to air humping in the middle of the street. This cat gets so excited it starts rolling. I get to laughing, I'm doubled over. My kids just look bored out of their mind. My husband's like, you know there's a car coming, get out of the way. We just look a fright. I think that uh, the pandemic's making us all crazy. I can't wait, I wanna finish pet therapy training with her and take her to some of the retirement centers and the kids' schools. Um, we're very cognizant of her size. She's about 105 pounds, which is like 47, 48 kilograms. Um, so we're always really careful. We make sure that, you know, we ask people, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Because just some people aren't dog people and you have to be respectful of that. And some people aren't large dog people and you have to be respectful of that as well. This is a selfie I took of her. She was looking down at me. Um, and I got to laughing. I, she just, she makes us laugh. She makes us so happy. She's such a sweet dog. And everybody who just meets her is like, I don't like large dogs, but she's just wonderful. And we're like, I know we got so dang lucky. Keep in mind, if you go to adopt a large dog that it's, you know, it's lots of food, lots of vets, lots of medicine, lots of poops lots of farts it's they're expensive they're a lot so just make sure that you have lots of running space and lots of things that can be equipped for this dog otherwise it's just not it's not fair to them you know and I think there's been an uptick in interest in this dog breed which is cool to see but you hate to see them get adopted out and then be returned um, she is not clipped or docked. They typically clip the ears on these ones as puppies and then dock the tail for the purebreds. Um, we don't do that. We don't, we're not real big fans of that. Um, but that wouldn't deter, deter us from adopting one that was. But she just wasn't because again, she's not purebred. She's part German Shepherd. But our little, our little baby. She's so, they're so sensitive. They're such a sensitive dog. And they do, they do guard. Absolutely. These two guys came into the dog park one time without a dog and she had all kinds of things to say about it. And she's not typically 
that vocal in common areas, mostly just our home area is where she feels she needs to protect us the most. And she could not stop talking to them about why they were there without a dog. And they left. She has a very big, a big bark, a loud bark, a deep bark, like large dogs do. Um, yeah. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I will finish this illustration and put it up on my Instagram probably later and then I'll just link link that down below as the pinned comment with some pictures of her. Um, she howls with the ambulances and it's adorable. So I'll link all that below. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend or what's left of your weekend and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye!